Hey guys, Ben here, Geelong Cable Locations. Hope you're all well. Hope you're having a great day today, wherever you're watching me. Uh, I want to show you this. This is a very common example of a, a sort of job that we get across, that we come across, um, and often we get asked questions about why we're doing different things the way we are when we're on a job site. So let, let me set the scene and I'll explain it a bit better. So we're working at a hospital today, uh, working out this section here. So the scope of works is that car park there up to this tree here. So in line with this tree, going that way there in there so we're only working in there nothing around here not doing anything over there just in that section there now often um people say to us we're just digging in there all we want to know is the services in the area don't worry about locating anything anywhere else and then they'll see me walking around other areas and like what are you doing over there forget about going over there we don't need you over there we only want you to locate services that's there and i've often got to try to explain to them that i explain it look i'm the expert You've hired me for a reason, uh, but then I try and break down and, uh, the, the situation and explain that just just because you're only digging in that area there, I need to find where the services go into that area. I can't just magically find anything. I'm not I'm not Superman. I'm not, I haven't got X-ray vision. I need to uh, hook onto different services. I need to uh, find where pits are and then uh, and then locate it. And this is a very good example because here are two pits. So again. These are uh, these are the pits here. Look at the shape that's on. Look at where this is. Got a uh, fire hydrant here. You'd think that these might be going down that way there or going down that way there. They're not going to be going over in there at all. But I thought I still want to come over and open them up and check where they're going and what's going on and have a look in this one here. You'll see we've got a heap of conduits coming up from that way there. And look at the angle they're on. There's optic fibre there. I reckon it's going to be going straight through their works. So I'm going to put the uh, locator on it now and see if I can find it. Well, I won't put the locator on the optic, but I'll try and rod it and see if I can find where that goes. But I reckon it's going to go straight through there. And then in this pit here, we've got more optic fiber. And this one here, again, it's been optic, I'm not going to be able to locate it, so I'll put my rod down it and see if I can find it. I mean, it's probably going to be going through their car park down there, so it might still be in their way. But yeah, I thought... While I saw these two, and I haven't done the fire hydrant yet, I'm going to do that one in a minute. But I thought while I saw these, it's probably a good example to show you guys. Uh, for, the, for those of you that don't use us uh, that often or have never used us and don't understand how we work, this is the situation. So we need to go. So And, that, and that's these two pits here. But I've had to go through and find where these lights are going because there's lights down there. And do that, does that power to that light? Does it go through their work? There? Look at all these um, garden lights here. There's lights for that tree. There's all sorts of different things that are in this area here. And again, as I was saying, we're at, we're at a hospital. So the last place you want to, I mean, you don't want to hit surface anywhere, but imagine if you hit an optic fibre here, uh, or hit power cable here and all sorts of issues, or hit a gas a gas pipe and they would have to evacuate the hospital. There's all sorts of different uh, uh, reasons why you don't want to hit any underground services. So that's why we got to take the time. Yes, I know you're only working that area there, but you got to take the extra time to go and find where everything else go. Uh, where everything else is, even if even if uh, there's a building over there, even if the power for that building there comes from over that way there, I still need to go confirm that it does come from over there to that building there, and that it doesn't come that building there doesn't go over to here. So, I've, uh, so I did it yesterday. I went over. I've been here for yeah a couple of days, and I went through and found that it, it does actually go back that way there. But I say my, most clients that we work for all the time understand this, and they and, and no issue at all. But uh, often when it's, uh, someone's used for the first time or they've used a locator for the first time and they don't understand this sort of stuff, uh, that's why I thought I'd better do a video. Uh, so that uh, Actually, I might even send this video to clients that haven't used this before uh, that want to use this on a job like this to see you get a better idea, you get a better understanding that I do need to go through and find where everything else is. Just because you're only working there, I still need to find where everything else is to make sure there's nothing else going through where you're, where you're working. hope that makes sense. Any questions, leave a comment below. Put my mask on and get back into work. Take care, guys. Bye.